Here are the 10 reasons why I think the VPeak VP11 OBD2 reader is one of the biggest bangs for your buck in OBD scanners right now. Number 10, price. The VP11 is priced under $15. I paid $13.99 for mine you see here. Now, is it as good as a $5,000 Snap-on Apollo scanner? Of course not. But it's a really capable scanner at an amazing price point. One thing I want to mention right off the bat is the VP11 model I am showing only works for Android and Windows. It does not work for iOS. So that may be a deal breaker for some users that only have access to iPhones or iPads. Now they do make a slightly more expensive Bluetooth model that does work with both Android and iPhones like this one here. They also have a Wi-Fi model that will work with both. So all is not lost if you want one and you have an iPhone, you just end up paying a little bit more. Nine, software. Now most of these generic type Bluetooth readers do not come with their own software, which some may consider to be a downside. But to me, this can be considered an upside as opposed to being trapped into a scanner device that has dedicated software that might not get updated by the manufacturer as frequently as you would want. This allows you to choose from many free and paid apps on multiple platforms to find one that suits your needs. For most of this video, I will be mainly using my Android tablet and my Android phone um, paired with the free and a paid version of an app called Car Scanner or Car Scanner Pro for the paid version. Um, the paid version was $4.99 and I think it removed ads and gave me some extra functionality. Number eight, live data. Now there are lots of PIDs in this um, you can get with this scan tool. Now, if you watch my videos, you can probably tell that I love live data and I want to see as many PIDs as I can. The VP11 along with CarScanner Pro is great in this department. I can see more PIDs than most handhelds will show at this price range. And while every car is different, look at this long list from this 2015 Super Impreza. You can see a long list of standard and non-standard PIDs show up. I won't go through what all these mean is I have a separate video for that where I run through each one of these PIDs on a handheld scanner. And I'll post that link at the end of the video or in the um, details below. But needless to say, the VP11 gives you a lot of PIDs, which is one of the main things I'm usually looking for. Number seven, graphing. Now this is where using a phone or tablet with a large screen really shines over a small screen handheld OBD reader. This you can see is a free version as mentioned on the bottom of the app, and I'm graphing both long and short term fuel trim together. Being able to graph multiple data points at once is great for troubleshooting. Some handhelds can graph, but usually the cheaper ones do a single data point, just like, you know, short term fuel trim, and you'd need to toggle back and forth to, to see them together. Here we see both of them on the same chart. But what I like even better is to have independent graphs for each item. And you can see here, I can display four graphs at a time to monitor multiple items at once. I can also just click on an item in live data and go straight into a graph. Now, this level of detail is great, but when I think it was only 15 to 20 bucks, it really stands out as you know, an amazing value. Six, trouble codes. This is another place where these generic Bluetooth scanners really shine. Look at these DC TTC codes showing on this Super Impreza. I'm seeing multiple codes from other modules as well, like the BCM, SRS, occupant detection. I mean, how cool is that? Um, yeah, my $150 X-Tool Bluetooth scanner can do this too, but the VP11 is only 20 bucks. If you know of any handhelds that can do this in the under $50 range, uh, let me know below in the link. I'd, I'd love to check one out, but um, to me, this is pretty amazing. It also shows pending codes and freeze data. Here you can see I have the pending trouble code on this Toyota. So this is a nice example of mode seven. If you saw the quick video I made on OBD2 modes and services, where I kind of do mention um, pending codes. Here you can see a freeze frame code, mode two. Um, some advertisers mention these modes when advertising what a scanner can do. So I just like to bring it up for reference. Number five, customizable dashboards. There are dashboards you can use to customize what you want to see. Um, here you can see the RPM and coolant temp and speed. You can also graph things like your long-term and short-term fuel trim. You have a lot of choices of what you can do and display and how to arrange them on these dashboards. And there's a lot of other apps that also just have little dashboards like this you can have set up to view whatever PID you want. Number four, emission tests. Um, just showing you this on the phone so you can kind of see the separate layout. But um, a lot of handheld scanners can do, you know, the, the emission test at this lower price point. So it's not a big deal, but I think it's still neat to see that you do have that available. Number three, non-continuous monitor tests. Here you can see multiple monitor tests that you can um, check the results on. So kind of cool. 
Some handhelds might show this, some might not in this price range. Number two, performance tests, data recording, and statistics. Uh, just a few quick screenshots showing these. Um, you can, they have performance testing, data recording, so you can record your sessions to look at it later, um, and statistics. Uh, you know, to be honest, I don't use these a lot, but it's nice that they're there. So kind of a, a nice handy feature that you don't see some of these in handhelds as well in this price range. And number one, um, works with Windows. So I like to be able to see graphs on a larger screen. So I really like some of the Windows OBD software as well. Um, in this example, I'm just using a free OBD program from the Microsoft Store called OBD Discovery paired up with a VP11. Now, one of the things I kind of like about this software is here you can see the PIDs and it even shows the hex value, which I think is pretty cool. You know, like long-term fuel trim, it's showing the PID of, you know, hex 07. It also does graphing, as you can see here, um, just graphing the mass airflow sensor. Um, and it's a pretty friendly user interface. You can also see mode three, you know, diagnostic trouble codes. I, I do like how it shows that hex data. Um, it also shows as freeze data. And here you can see some onboard monitoring. See how mode five is empty and the O2 sensors are under mode six, kind of like mentioned in the uh, modes and services video. And another cool feature I like on the Windows app is it has a serial terminal window where you can see what's going on. You can watch the information scroll by. Um, you can also send data, but of course, um, heed any warnings on the app and don't send any data if you don't know what you're doing. I'm not responsible for you break something here. Um, definitely would feel bad for you. But um, yeah, it, it's, it's a lot of functionality by using the Windows as well. And again, this was all for 20 bucks, excluding the, you know, the phone, tablet, and the laptop, which I had to use to connect to, but pretty amazing.